guys, this is Larry, your IV teacher. Uh, this morning, there are a number of students didn't show up, uh, so I'm going to do this little video session. It's uh, mostly about uh, uh, motion effect. Uh, I'm going to use this video. This guy, his name is Armando Duplantis. He's the best in pole vaulting, uh, the best jumper. He just broke the world record about two weeks ago. I think the record was uh, six. 0.17 meter. Okay, um, notice when I import it, this video is a little bit small because I didn't want it animated uh, to resize the image. Uh, so we'll, we'll talk about a little bit about this issue. I notice a lot of students have the issue when they import a video, the video aspect ratio change or the, the size change. Uh, there are way to correct this. Let's first to, to see video input setting go to file setting we'll go to user input setting I normally choose this do not resize model video because when you use an uh, image sized for current format or a uh, resize image to fit format and roster sometimes they change aspect ratio so when this video looks like that uh, there's a way to uh, do that right click there's a source setting so I go here um, on this tab there's one thing called a frame flag flex so basically I will just change to here basically I'm telling the computer I'm going to use this as a full size and after I did that and I press OK so now it changed the whole video into the full size video. Okay, that's what it is. Um, I'm going to put in. I'm going to start from this. So basically, I'm going to stop at here. Okay, R point. Then I press B. Now it lay down timeline. While it's a lay down timeline, it automatically create a sequence. So I can just name name it anything. I'll name it a jump. Okay. So this is the video jump. Right now, this video has this frame flex effect on that, but I'm going to turn this into a regular video. And so by doing that, I'm going to mix down this video. How do I do that? Uh, I go to timeline and mix down and uh, here video mix down. Then I will tell the computer and I want it to go to this bin test bin and the drive everything you select. And this is the format I chose to use X cam HD 50. So press OK. What it does, it create an independent video, and it doesn't have frame flex effect on that. Okay, okay. Oh, they jump. Okay, then uh, I double click load this new video in. I'm going to replace this current video. Remember when we work on video only, we have to make sure we deselect audio, otherwise the audio will be replaced. And we make sure, remember this this column, the green one, reflect the source. Now we have a source of video that doesn't have audio. Align them all. V1 with V1. Then press B. Okay. Notice the uh, that video with S disappeared and now I have like a regular regular video clip alright let's now go into motion effect motion effect we do it on source monitor um, before we start you have to make sure you have a motion effect editor underneath your source window and I have it here if you don't have it you have to um, map it uh, with talk about that before and um, you can either use command 3 or control 3 um, let me see to bring this command palette up um, before you 
drag it. Make sure you're on button to button assignment. And you can just drag this to wherever. But you have to make sure it's underneath your source monitor. Okay. Let's close it. Okay. Um, you have to tell Avid which part you want to do slow mo. Let's say if you want to do the slow mo on from here, set the in point, out point here. Okay, this is the part you want to do. And uh, after you select that, you just uh, press motion effect editor. There are different uh, um, options you can do. You can uh, slow, slow mo it. Let's say we do 50%. After you select, then you can choose here you have a number of choices a duplicate field or v vtr allegedly this one is smoother and this one's choppy and um, this one maybe is in between for our purpose uh, we just use the duplicate it's a crate and the render all right here's your slow-mo okay let's go back Oh, where is it? Okay, we can also speed it up. Let's go here. So you can use 200, let's do 300 percent. Oh no, not 3000. 300 percent and uh, create a render. It's loaded already. Okay, speed it up. Um, we also could do reverse. Reverse, you can uh, go to effect mode and uh, you can use minus one minus one hundred percent preview render so it will reverse on reverse you also could do a reverse slow mo reverse uh, fast speed all right today in the classroom we actually did a lot of uh, spend a lot of time to talk about and um, how to do a uh, slow mo in and out uh, continuously in the in the regular speed video okay that's what we're going to spend some time to do that let's say we want this real speed real speed real speed up to here we want to start our slow-mo then we want from here go back to regular speed and uh, so this whole part is one second and 16 frame okay let's do this mm. i'm going to add edit basically i'm going to cut here add, add edit and where is that is this thing add edit do here then um, oops oops and uh, to the R point and add it. Here's another one I can use also. Okay. Basically, this is part of video. We're going to do slow mo. I'm going to do in point. Basic. Be, uh, by the way, uh, if you want to go quickly to in point exactly, you can press Q button. If you want to go to R point, you can press W button okay uh, now we're at the end point i want to mm, find on our source monitor because we only do motion effect on our source monitor so you do match frame where's match frame here match frame so basically you match exact frame on the source monitor and uh, remember this was one second 16 frame so we go back to here and to find now I'm using three and four button to move one frame at a time was uh, one sixteen okay go back one sixteen so this is the part we want to slow mo let's go here motion effect we want to do 33 percent let's do that normally 50 percent or 33 percent is uh, is very smooth great okay 
now I want to insert that video into here. Before I do that, I want to get rid of this clip. Uh, you, you can leave there. There, that's fine. Okay. Mm, that's not to use this um, R point because this video is five seconds much longer. So let's get rid of that by pressing F. So let's go. So we're gonna start from here. We use splash in. So it basically push the video backwards. And this is the original video we want to connect here to here. And we can either delete that space, and press T, and we'll mark in and out. And if I press X to extract it, so it will basically connect these two. Okay. And another way I can simply to drag it over. Okay. Now we can connect it. Let's see whether it works. Okay. Okay, that's basically what we are doing. I'm going to just move the little audio a little more. So. Okay, that's what basically we spent some time to learn today in the classroom. Okay, and that's it. Uh, so if you guys have questions, you can ask me. All right, thank you.